Hey everyone, welcome back. Man, yesterday it was 71 degrees. Right now the car is reading 50 degrees, a little bit of a difference, but I'm ready to start my day. So guys, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go make some money. Okay, so the first order I did was a Panera order. It was ready and I was out the door and got it delivered. And now I just finished a diner order where I waited a little while because it's a diner and it's Sunday and diners are busy on Sunday. So now I'm going to a different diner, but another diner. This one's actually pretty good with their pickup time. So I'm up in that it's gonna be ready and I'm gonna be done. Okay, it was ready, have the order, let's go get it delivered. Another $6.75 order coming my way with DoorDash, local market. I love this place. Oh, the food always looks amazing, but anyway, I'm gonna go in and go grab it. Okay, went home, had some lunch with the fam. Now, I just took this order, completed it, done, and now I'm working on this order. I feel like I can't get away from me. <laughs> 25 cents today. I don't know, maybe that's my magic number. Maybe you go play that in like the lotto. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm gonna go see if the next order is ready. Okay, I am back and ready to start my evening. I went home and ate dinner. So here I am. Oh, it's afternoon. Granted, I got a late start today, but man, it was really uneventful. <laughs> this afternoon so I'm hoping tonight is a little bit more exciting um, than it was during the afternoon but there was something that I noticed on Uber Eats in my area that I wanted to talk to you guys about so I just took this order I just pulled up to the restaurant I'm gonna go grab it and then we'll talk about it last order dropped off I am now working on this one right here I'm in a three dollar peak pay until 7:30. There is another peak pay at 7.30 to 9.30, but I can't remember what the dollar amount is. I know it goes down, so it's either $2 or $1.50. I can't remember. I'll get back to you on that. So let's talk about Uber Eats. So I've had Uber Eats on while I've been out working, and I've been noticing this, and you guys are going to have to let me know, have you guys seen this in your area? Because this is, this is what's been happening in my area today. So order looks like this which it looks like a regular uber eats order okay looks normal right so then a stacked order for uber eats comes through and it looks like this anybody notice anything weird about this order yeah there's no map what the heck uber eats <laughs> So I thought it was a fluke, and then I got another stacked order, the same thing, no map. So I don't know about you guys, but I use the map when I first look at an Uber Eats order to see, okay, there's two restaurants, there's two drop-offs, or if I only see one dot, it's only one restaurant and two drop-offs. Like the map actually tells you a lot. And Uber Eats is also tricky because they'll say it's like 13 miles and they'll tell you what the closest address is. Without the map, you don't kind of know where you're going. So that's the latest and greatest from Uber Eats, no map on stacked orders. And that's how I make a really good informed decision on stacked orders with Uber Eats. I don't like doing stacked orders on Uber Eats to begin with because you never know what the second restaurant is. Now you really don't know. So just FYI, that's what was happening in my area today. So I don't know whether it's today or whether it's going to be an ongoing thing. I feel like these apps are forever changing. Who can keep up? But anyway, just thought I would share. Let me know if you guys noticed the same thing or if you're seeing it in your area as well. So anyway, I'm going to go in. I'm here at the restaurant. Let me go pick this up and we're off. So the one order was dropped off and this is what it ended up being and then I took a stacked order from DoorDash and I looked at the map and talk about knowing your own area. 
I knew it wasn't going to take me that long to complete. I knew that it was really easy driving. They were close in proximity, so ended up taking it and done, and it actually went up and it ended up being this right here. So now I'm on to hopefully another quick order um, right here for $11 on DoorDash as well. So I'm trying to get as many orders in before this peak pay runs out. At least that's my, that's my plan and I'm sticking to it. So just arrived to the next restaurant, gonna go in. They were ready before, so hopefully they're ready now. Okay, so as I'm sitting here waiting on the train, I, to, well, the last order got dropped off, done, and now I'm taking, there's the train, <laughs> and then I am taking this order right here. The other order, I only had to wait like five-ish minutes, so it wasn't too bad, and last order got dropped off. It was one of those ones that had like very specific notes. It was go all the way down to the end of the driveway. My apartment is the last door at the end of the drive. Like it was like very detailed. Found it. Thank you for the notes. Gotta love notes. He is following the notes from a driver. Follow your customer notes. It makes the world of a difference. Anyway, digressing. I should say, or moving on. So this is what it ended up being. Thank you so much to the customer. So I made it all the way back to my area, nothing. Um, so I just kind of sat around for a little while and then I got this order right here. So I just pulled into the restaurant. I have two minutes to spare. So hopefully I'm gonna go in this restaurant. It's usually right on time, so gives me two minutes. Okay, last order of the night. I couldn't refuse a $17 order. And the funny thing is, and this happens every once in a while with DoorDash, is they actually had me at where I did my last drop off and I was literally a half mile away from the restaurant. So um, you can take a couple miles away from this DoorDash. I don't know what else to tell you because I was almost right here. So anyway, I pulled up to the restaurant and they said it's gonna be a five minute wait. I was a little early anyway, so I'm gonna go in hopefully soon, get my order, get it done and go home. So guys, if you're driving, Please stay safe and healthy. Remember, kindness is always free. I love you guys, and I'll see you next video. Peace out.